Hi there, my name is Fabian. My name is Anna. And my name is Laura. Hi, my name is Mohammed Hussein. My name is Angela Anki Duan. My name is Sam, and I'm a PhD candidate at the Institute of Medical Science. And I work for the Medine Lab here at the University of Toronto. My research interest is in surgical technique and intraoperative tumor seeding. In our lab, we're looking at a set of these rare diseases called lysosomal storage disorders. And in my research, I look at one disease called Farber disease or acid ceramidase deficiency. And I study how powerful magnets can non-invasively manipulate brain networks. My research is looking at the risk for alcohol use disorder in youth that have a family history or not of alcoholism. My study investigates how we can use magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, to detect the fetal hematocrit level while the baby is still in the mother's uterus. I am looking into the scope of uh, introducing and supporting technology for care of people with dementia. Atherosclerotic narrowing of the carotid arteries is, is an important cause of ischemic stroke. So what our research is doing is we're looking at this problem from a population-based perspective and we're looking at thousands of records of these two procedures being done in Ontario over the last decade and we're really comparing the rates of these procedures and the outcomes of these procedures. My research is looking at undergraduate learning materials um, and I'm developing an undergraduate learning tool to, to see if it's effective in deeper conceptual learning. My project is looking at white matter tract integrity in women with current and past anorexia nervosa and their unaffected female sisters in order to try and understand how structural brain changes might make someone vulnerable to an eating disorder in the first place or might make their symptoms worse once their eating disorder has begun. And my research uh, focuses on understanding uh, sex differences in heart function between older men and older women and specifically investigating why older women are more uh, predisposed to development of certain cardiac diseases. It's an exciting area of topic because this is a really controversial topic in, in medicine. It's something that's extremely tangible, which is why this research excites me. And the reason why this research interests me is because there's currently a significant knowledge gap in the surgical community. I'm interested in neuroscience in general because Carl Sagan once said, the brain is a very big place in a very small space. And I've been enamored by neuroscience research for the past three years and I couldn't dream of doing anything else. 